What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Bruce Springsteen. Yes, indeed. Bruce Springsteen fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from JFK, and this is actually one of JFK's three prioritized requests for the month of February for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page, so here you go, JFK. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, JFK wanted to see me react to this. It is Bruce Springsteen and Elvis Costello uh, performing, is it two songs or is it a medley? I'm not sure, but apparently they're, they're playing Radio Nowhere and Radio Radio. Now, have I heard these songs before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard these songs in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to these songs and I suddenly go, wait a second, hang on, I recognize these songs. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, I'm not sure if this is a medley or if this is two individual songs or it's some sort of a mix up or a up. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I guess we're gonna find out here. Let's see, this was posted by Runaway Dream, okay? And the video has 64,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Radio Nowhere and Radio Radio. Bruce Springsteen and Elvis Costello. Okay, I am curious. Is it Elvis Costello joining Bruce Springsteen or is it Bruce Springsteen joining Elvis Costello? That I don't know. I'm curious to see how this is gonna go out. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Looks like Bruce. I wrote a song called Radio Soul, and it was about as shameless a knockoff of a Bruce Springsteen song as you would ever <laughs> have the misfortune to hear. <laughs> I thought you actually had to celebrate the music that you loved, even though I rarely heard it on English radio. A couple of years later, I got my blood up and reworked the message. The song was now called Radio Radio. Got me in a whole world of trouble. Now this wonderful invention is under assault of liars and fraud, screaming slanders and insults. This song is not about what station you have dialed in heavy rotation. This is your life. Testing, testing, 
I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. So, number one, I applaud Elvis Costello for coming out and just saying straight up, yeah, I, I ripped this off. <laughs> it's as big a rip off as you could possibly imagine. <laughs> look, kudos. Kudos to the man for admitting it. You know, absolutely. Um, look, Lenny Kilmeister from Motorhead said it best. We're all thieves. Everybody steals from everybody, and that is absolutely 100% accurate. Um, everybody has ripped off everybody, and everybody has borrowed from everybody. And for the most part, people are usually pretty cool about it because it, 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 this is what it really boils down to more than anything else. Um, I could care less. Like, if, if, we're, if, if we write a song and some other band comes along and steals something from us, we don't really care. Because eventually down the road, they're probably going to do something that we're going to steal back. So, you know, it, it's give and take. It really is. And there's that understanding. It really gets on my nerves when some of these bands have the audacity to go after bands who did borrow from them or did steal from them uh, and, you know, claim that, oh, you, you're stealing from us. Well, you, you more than likely, you stole that from someone else. So. You know, how dare you, after stealing that exact same thing that you're going to go after the other band for, you took from someone else and you have the audacity to go after them? That, that ain't right. That is absolutely not right. So we're all thieves. We all borrow from each other and we all understand that, you know? Now, if it's pure plagiarism, like if it's absolute just note for note, you know, beat for beat, tone for tone, pure plagiarism, that's different. Uh, then you, you know, you got some recourse, obviously. But if they, if someone just took a riff from one of your songs, I mean, how many riffs are there? There's only a, there's only a finite number of riffs. Now, granted, that number is huge, but there's still only a finite number of riffs that you could possibly come up with. So, you know, you, you, you everyone's gonna have to copy everybody at some point or another, you know. But there's going to be differences. You're not going to take the same riff and mix it with this riff, mix it with this riff, and mix it with this riff. Now, if someone does that and copies riff for riff an entire song, that's just pure plagiarism. Kill him! Kill the traitor! At that point, hang him up. <laughs> Seriously, string him up and let him stretch. Um, but at the same time, like I said, we're all thieves. We all borrow from each other. You know, if someone takes a riff of yours, don't take it personal. Just keep an eye on them because they may have something that they come up with there that you can borrow. Yeah, it, it's all good. So I do see, just from hearing the introduction uh, from the, the Bruce song, I'm like, yeah, I see a correlation there. I do. I do. I see I see what all this is talking about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let, let's keep going here. Oh, my God. 
more faster. Man, what's with the limiting on this? It's a I was wondering if we were going to go back. <laughs> I was wondering. Um, for those of you that are noticing the volume drops, I'm hearing them too. Uh, it sounds like, I don't know, maybe the uploader put them some sort of a limiter or, you know, added extra, you know, gate or something to it. It's like if the sound started to get too loud, the limiter or the gate kills it. I'm hearing it too. Trust me. I'm sitting there going, what happened to the volume? And then it comes back and then it comes back down again. And then it comes back and it gets clamped again. It's not me. I'm not the one doing it. I promise you. It's it's this video. So trust me, I hear it too. It's a little annoying. Anyway, um, I was wondering if they were gonna go back into his song again, and it I'm glad to see we are. We're we're coming back full circle again. So that's good. That's really good. Um, let's keep going here. Let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. times <laughs> <Duh>. what <laughs> what was this <laughs> i don't know uh okay sure whatever um i mean okay look as far as the song, as far as the performance goes, really not a lot to talk about, but uh, there is something I want to talk about at length. So it's not going to be a short review, but hopefully it's not going to be a long review either. Hopefully it's going to be just, you know, your your average size review, somewhere between like, you know, somewhere between like five to 10 minutes, hopefully in that range. I can see that. Let's see if I can make that happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Bruce Springsteen and Elvis Costello with Radio Nowhere and Radio Radio. This was a request from JFK. And this was actually one of JFK's three prioritized requests for the month of February for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, JFK. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um. Yeah, I, I think I know why JFK wanted me to react to this. And I, I'm going to touch on it, I promise. Um, but let's start off with the rating first, shall we? Out of a possible five stars, I'm going to give that performance and the songs, uh, I'm going to give it four stars. Yep, four to five stars. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, um, starting off with the songs, both, both songs felt really good. They both had a good amount of energy, good amount of drive. They had a good pulse to them, uh, a nice push to them. Felt really nice. I could see them being very big at live shows. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're at a Bruce Springsteen show or Elvis Costello. I have a feeling this was an Elvis Costello show that he just had Bruce come out for it. And, and now uh, that's Niles, right? I think that's Niles. I'm trying, folks. And I really am. Uh, I believe that's Niles uh, on the guitar. Uh, it was nice seeing them come out, but it, it, it looked like Elvis's band. It looked like Elvis Costello's band. So Bruce was the guest. So that was really cool. 
Um, but overall, it, it felt both songs felt very good, which I'm gonna talk about why in a little bit. Uh, but I, I can see both songs being good crowd pleasers, um, and they both work very well in a live setting. Good amount of energy, feels really nice, um, and it, it rolls off really well. I, I got no issue with it, with it whatsoever. Am I gonna sit here and go, is it impressive? No, <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't say impressive. They're, they're both very straight ahead songs. But nonetheless, nice job from, from all, on both sides. Um, really good songs, both of them, really good songs. I don't even know if I would say great, but really good. Definitely strong, really good. Um, the thing I want to talk about at length, and, and I know I feel like I'm kind of going by the waist on the songs, but like I said, the songs themselves really are not that complex. They're really not a whole lot to talk about. Um, other than the comparison. Okay, now this is where we're going to talk a little bit. Um, first of all, kudos on two fronts. Kudos to Elvis Costello for just coming out and flat saying, yeah, I absolutely ripped off Bruce Springsteen on this. Being I, I wrote this song and it is the absolute biggest Bruce Springsteen ripoff song you've ever heard. You know, kudos to him for admitting it. You know, you'd be amazed how many musicians will literally, and I'm not talking about paying homage. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, being, you know, paying tribute to, no, they just flat out copy, just flat out rip off other artists. And then they have the audacity to sit there and go, oh no, this is us. This is absolutely original. Yeah, we, we came up with this 100% on our own. Yeah, right. <laughs> sure you did. You know, and then I love it when they're confronted and go, really? Yeah, because we found that these songs, multiple songs, not just one, we found these other songs from these other artists and they sound an awful lot like that song. And they have the audacity to continue to say, oh, that, that's just coincidental. No, we, we, we didn't, we didn't write, we, we didn't, we didn't listen to those songs one bit. We didn't take anything from those other artists. Oh, this is, this is 100% original. This is all us. Right. <laughs> sure it is. You know, look, if you're going to rip someone off, be honest about it. And I, I got to tip the cap to Elvis Costello for doing it. And I also got to tip the cap off to Bruce Springsteen for not being a total douche about it and saying, well, you, you took from me, you know, you, I, you can't play that song anymore. I, I wrote that and it's my riff and I'm not going to share my riff. I'm going to take my ball and go home. You know, he's not doing that. Now he's saying, listen, you, 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 you took one of, you took one of my riffs. You made it your own. Good on you. You know, I got no problem with that. And, you know, kudos to Bruce for being a good sport about it. So much so that when Elvis invited him to come out on stage and perform with him, he said, yeah, sure, I'll do it. No problem. Let's have some fun with it. And it's good to see the, the open-mindedness on both of their sides. Elvis for being truthful about it and Bruce for being, you know, open-minded and accepting of it and saying, hey, Good on you, man. Look, you took one of my you took one of my riffs, took one of my song styles, you made it your own, and you made a name for yourself with it. Cool, no problem. <laughs> not that Elvis Presley, not Elvis Presley, not that Elvis Costello didn't have make a name for himself prior to it, but you know the fact that he was able to take a, a riff and a feel from Bruce and you know incorporate it into his into his thing, and Bruce ain't got a problem with it. Which then begs the question: Should anybody else have a problem with it? Nope, <laughs> not in my opinion. Look. If Bruce, the only one that really has any ground for having a gripe about it would be Bruce. And clearly Bruce doesn't have an issue with it. So should anybody else have an issue with it? Honestly, in my opinion, no, I don't think so. I, I don't believe anybody else has a foot to stand on. So if Bruce ain't got an issue with it, I don't think anybody else should either. And seeing the two of them up on stage, having fun performing both songs and having <laughs> Boy, they wasn't they when they switched gears and they went to Bruce's song. I was like, okay, yeah, I hear it. I heard it even more when they switched back to Elvis Costello's song. Uh, to, we, we went back to Radio Radio. I was like, uh huh, yeah, I I see the, the 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 correlation between the two. I I see the parallels between the two. They both have a pretty much the same tempo, the same feel, the same key. Um. The riff isn't exactly the same, but it, I, I could see it though. Like people listen to that song that Elvis Costello is playing. He plays radio, radio, right? And 
uh, I can see people going, this sounds like a Bruce Springsteen song. Absolutely. I can totally see it. So yeah, I, I, I don't question that parallel at all. But uh, no, overall, a lot of fun. Got some good stage interaction. Good, got some good stage energy. Uh, some good crowd interaction. Some good banter with the crowd. That's always fun. Um, yeah, overall, I, I thought it was a really nice job. Really nice job overall. So yeah, I'm giving it four stars and I have absolutely no problem doing it. And that is where we're gonna stay is with those four stars. So four to five stars, final score, I have spoke. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me. But if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.